So Disney has been on quite the streak recently with a lot of their live action movies. I guess Dumbo, well I guess that's kind of a lie, Dumbo didn't really do too well and that just hit theaters pretty recently, but by and large a lot of their live action stuff with the, which they've been adapting from their uh, animated features you know, from different decades and stuff. Their classics have been huge hits. I think the ones that really stand out to me are ones like Beauty and the Beast, uh, Cinderella, and I think there was one more. The point is, they're actually doing pretty good money for themselves with these live-action things. And people like me tend to criticize them, but at the end of the day, we also tend to... Uh, go and see these movies anyway. Kind of like Beauty and the Beast where I thought it was stupid that they were doing something that was so clearly pretty much just the animated movie with extra stuff added in it. It didn't feel like it was, you know, turning it on its head or doing its own thing, like justifying itself as a remake in any way. Uh, but still, I went to see it and I loved Beauty and the Beast. I really did. I think, I think they added uh, a lot of great texture to the, the mythology they added some stuff that covered up, not plot holes per se, but just things that weren't really mentioned in the animated movies regarding uh, how the curse worked and who it affected and all this other type of stuff. I like the other two songs they added to it as well. So they're adding stuff to it, but they're not really reinventing the wheel. They're just like refining it, in my opinion. And while a lot of people, including myself, constantly judge Disney for doing this, I'm still going to see these movies and I'll still see The Lion King, and that's what I'm here to talk about today is The Lion King. Uh, we've seen teasers for it, basically reenacting that iconic opening scene, Circle of Life, um, but we haven't seen a full trailer yet, and this morning, Disney, in celebration of The Lion King opening up in theaters in 100 days, sent an email with the new trailer. <gasps> is it any good? I don't know. I haven't watched it yet, so let's take a look. Click. It take a second because you know the whole it's loading thing. I should have got this queued up before, but I didn't want to be spoiled. Right, here we go. Life's not fair. This is it, my little friend? Scar. He's talking to the mouse. This is the line he. Others spend their lives in the dark. Hmm. Cute. Begging for scraps. Okay. Okay, I forgot who plays the voice of Scar in this. Everything you see exists together in a delicate balance. It's like I'm watching a nature documentary here. A true king searches for what he can give. James Earl Jones sounds wiser. It's because he's a little older now. It works. Run away, Simba. And never return. <laughs> Same music. Very key here. Oh, look at that. Timon and Pumbaa. And they reenact all the same stuff. For good and for bad. I'm torn on this one. It looks good. If I had just, if this had not been based on anything, this would have been mind blowing. But as it stands, it literally is just showing all of the iconic scenes the walking on the log, the stampede stuff, some of the quotes from Scar, some of the stuff from um, when uh, uh, Mufasa is telling Simba about their kingdom and the rules and everything. Uh, the elephant graveyard stuff, the stuff in the jungle, the. Um, in the jungle song like it, it's literally just like a greatest hits of what that first movie was and um, personally I, I'll see this movie but I kind of wish they took more risks with it um, I guess that's weird for me to say you know someone who loves the Marvel movies and stuff and say people saying like oh they don't take risks anyway yeah I guess that's kind of right but um, I don't know I wish they did something with it but I guess when you have a hundred and fifty two hundred million dollar movie you can't really afford to take gigantic risk with something that is very precious you're kind of in a no-win situation where you have people like me saying they wish 
they would push it. But then also you have people like me also saying that they can't ruin my childhood because if they ruin it, then it's going to ruin it and blah, blah, blah. So I don't know. It's very annoying um, and it makes people wish that they just didn't remake these at all. But I'll still be there in theaters. If nothing else, the visual effects look absolutely stunning. And yeah, I mean, I guess you can you can give them kudos for helping pushing the visual effects medium forward and hopefully, hopefully utilize it in other movies down the line that can take more creative risks. Uh, but what did you think about this? What did you think about this new trailer for The Lion King? Is it exactly what you were hoping for? Is it falling short kind of like it is for me? Will you be in theaters regardless because of how much you love the original movie? Let us know down in the comments below. And of course, be sure to subscribe. You know, hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe. If you subscribe, you'll, in addition to these reaction videos, you'll be getting, um, what's it called, uh, LRM Ranks It videos, which feature many different people, contributors from, uh, from LRM Online, talking about their favorite uh their top whatevers of whatever property. Uh, more recently, Nick Dahl discussed his top uh, Benedict Cumberbatch performances, and before that, his top Mission Impossible movies. So uh, we're, we're in the process of reformatting the videos and the way they're done. Uh, be sure to check them out. Give them a watch. Give them a like. We can use all the love we can get. We're trying to grow the YouTube presence here. Um, after having this channel for a while and not really focusing on it. So if you want more content like that and more content of different kinds in the future with more production value, uh, share the love and it'll help out a great deal. So uh, thanks so much for watching. And of course, check out lrmonline.com for the latest in film and TV news and analysis.